star terms. Um, she's a filly that, that sort of looked smart as, as a junior, and I thought she ran a cracker in the in the Primar Sabusa. She did. I think the seven furlong is going to be too short for her at Newbury. She might win anyway. I think she her future probably lies mile mile and a quarter, something like that. Uh, but this is a nice race up the road on a lovely track. Could be a bit of giving the ground to suit her. I, I think she'll run, I hope she'll run very well. And if she does, we'll look at the guineas and then make a plan from there. But she will be better over a mile. Come on, Lester. Uh, quite Come a on, Lester. She's, she worked very well this morning. She's going to have to settle. I'm looking at the Fred Darling just because I think they'll go a good clip in that. It's straight. I'm not sure she'll get seven. But I think it's worth having a go at now. If we need to, we can come back to six or even five. There's a listed race for her bath, but it's sort of teaching, teaching her just to blow her top a little bit. I'd just like to see her settle. And she did this morning, so, you know, she, she will probably go to Newbury. And then the filly that I sort of got my fingers burnt on was Al Hakmar. Yeah, at, at <clears throat> bumped into a good one at Newmarket. Sorry, at Newbury. She, I think, is a very good filly. Physically, she's done well. We've given her all the time in the world. She's going to need plenty of time yet. I'm not sure we'll see her, you know, months and months before Royal Ascot. She might come out around that time. She's got to, you know, she's, she's got to come on her coat. She's moving OK at the moment, but we're not doing a lot with her. We, she needs plenty more, plenty more of the background sort of, sort of work rather than the fast work, and then we can step things up. But, so she'll be a while, but yeah, she, I, I hope she's a good filly. OK, let's talk a bit about a few of the older horses. Um, Bilsterbrook, obviously a big day in the sun for you uh, in the Guineas last year. Yeah. Um, no win since then, but she'd ran some nice irrelevant, races Irrelevant, Brett. Absolutely irrelevant. <laughs> Come on, she chose she the right day year. to win. There's the, the race at Goodwood is, is her race. It's called the um, Conqueror, and it's basically written for her. It's a listed race, 50 grand at Goodwood. She gets no penalty. She's won there twice already, mm. and she'll take a lot of beating in that, I hope. Anna Nerium, you've got her entered in the lock hinge. She will Is be... Grand key to her? Yes, she's a stone better on, on soft ground. So we're going to follow that round. She's in the lock hinge. She will be entered in the, the Dahlia and the, this listed race I told you about, the Conqueror. And if it's soft ground, she might well turn up at Sandown for the, for the, for the mile group too. But she has to have soft ground. It's as simple as that. You know, she's a stone better on it. She's only a little filly, but... Somehow she goes through the soft ground and loves it. Red Starlight has already had a run and this yep. trim at Doncaster, finishing second. How much do you think she, she will come on for that? She will come on massively for it. I thought she ran a super race. She's a big filly and she's obviously fitter than she looks. There's a couple of handicaps for her. I'm very keen to win a listed race, but I think if we can utilise her handicap for the time being, she's off 100. Um, I think the winner of that listed race is 110. So... She could have a big chance in the, the Big Bath One Mile Handicap. She's in the I think Spring Cup as well. She takes the racing very well. We have some, a lot of sport with that filly. She's, she's tough, honest, and got a, a lot of ability. And, you know, she's a real pleasure to have. Raymond Tusk, who actually <coughs> won uh, this weekend last year on, on his debut, big yeah. price there. Um, he's in the John Porter. Is that a, a possible starting point for him? It could be. That looks like being a very hot race. I mean, Defoe's in there probably don't want to take him on but he loves that track and it looks like we might get a bit of soft ground he's been to Qatar we've kept him just ticking over since he could do but I'm sort of favoring there's other races around and about there's some nice races in France we might take on one of those a lot of these early sort of group threes early on a lot of group one horses in there having their first run and they tend to be very hot you know I think if we can avoid that and go elsewhere, you know, when the others have been dotted around, it would be more to our advantage, I think. I mean, you ran him in the ledger last year, obviously that's over a mile and six. Do you feel this year he, he could sort of develop I into a, a potential cup horse. Ascot go-cup horse? Yeah. I think that, that might be a little too far for him, but I think he's, he gets a mile and six, no problem. You know, he might, he might get further, but he's not doing much wrong over sort of mile and a half trips at the moment. And you know, there's a lot of, lot of prize money. Um, at that level over that trip. He's yet to win a group one, but do you feel there is one in him somewhere? I hope so. He won the Italian St. Ledger at the end of last year. So I'd love to think there could be one in him. He's, he's a very honest horse, and I think he'll get better as he gets older because he will fill his frame. I'd like to think there is a very good race in him somewhere, yeah. Yafta, 
horse has got a real good attitude, I, I feel. Um, uh, he's, he's, he's a trainer's horse, isn't he? I think he started last year off 76 or something, ended up 114. So he showed a massive amount of improvement. And I was saying to Sheikh Hamdan when he came down to see him the other day, I always knew there was, he had to chuck in a bad run sooner or later. He'd run so many good races and you know it's coming. And it came his last run of the year. And then we put him away and he's come back in great form. You know, we're going to look, there's a couple of nice races. He's in the Duke of York as well. That be, might be worth taking on with him. He's a really honest, sound, tough friend. You know, he, he's, he's, he's on your side and that makes a big difference. So going from the sort of speedsters to the stayers, um, we haven't seen Dane Hall Kodak since the, the Ormond. Um, how has he been? He's interim? fine. He, he's over his problems now. He looks great. And we've got him fit now. He's sound. We might go back to Chester, but again, there are races for him in France as well. He could have a big year. He was always, he always ran a lot of very good races, finishing second to decent horses. Hopefully he convert those into wins now this year. Do you still see him as a Melbourne Cup horse, possibly? I know the owners oh, are quite Oh, I think him and Raymond Tusk. You know, they could be potential Melbourne Cup horses. I'm not known for my Melbourne Cup prowess, but you never know. <laughs> Do you know what trip it's over? <laughs> oh, actually, they, I don't know. They go around about eight times, don't they, or something? <laughs> uh, and then just finally, it's just obviously got loads and loads of two-year-olds. We, we can't go through them all. Um, a couple that sort of tend to catch the attention primarily because of the way they're bred. Um, Noonday Gun, um, obviously by Dubai. Gorgeous horse. Sky Lantern. Don't get excited about him. You're not going to see him for a long time. He's going to need loads of time. A horse for the back end of the year. By Dubai, out of Sky Lantern. You don't get much better than that. Um, so he's definitely one that we're delighted to have. But he is on the back burner and just going through the motions and he'll tell us when he's ready. And Divine Covey, you've got into... Very nice filly of Her Majesty's. Shown a lot of speed so far. Looking at maybe running her this weekend or Newmarket the following week. Uh, she's impressed me. She's, she's done it all very naturally. We haven't gone looking for her. She's just shown up and every time we work her, she works very well and with a lot of speed. She seems to know what she's doing and Newbury's always a nice place to start them off and Lord Carnarvon always used to say that it's the five pound sex allowance is actually a bit of an advantage when you're taking on Colt. So yeah, she, we might well let her go. We'll, we'll wait and see how she goes through the gates and everything towards the end of this week. And we've got people to ask, uh, or just ask about horses on Twitter and you won't, well, a lot we've mentioned all of them anyway, but one which we haven't, um, Man of the Night. Have you heard of that horse? I mean that. <laughs> how do these people? How do these people know? He's a knight of oh, thunder, that, and he came from Deauville. Um, I think it cost about three hundred and fifty euros. That gorgeous, gorgeous horse, and he's worked pretty well. I'd like to know who that person is who asked that because he must be hiding in the bushes here or something. But he's a very nice colt, one we're very excited about. And where might we see him? Cartier Awards, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, hopefully a nice race. He, Knight of Thunder, of course, was trained here, and he's got some real nice stock with us. And he, yeah, I'm not going to lie. He, I, I hope he's a little bit special. Yeah, you know, but we we get it wrong. These horses show up, and the ones that show you lows quite often, when you shake the reins at them, they don't pick up. But hopefully he will. He's he's done it all very easily so far. And finally, obviously, you've got good patronage from uh, Fox Power, um, or King Power rather, and um, also Midland Park, and, and Peter Moss doled by a lot of the horses for you. Um, Sheikh Hamdan, but Sheikh Obeid um, approached you last year to go and buy a, a few for him. Um, what, what did you buy? Anything any good? We've got some lovely two-year-olds. They're all two-year-olds. Um, not many five furlong horses in there, so you won't see those for a bit. And hopefully, peppered around, they'll be... Some nice horses, some nice winners, some group horses, and he sent us a lovely Dubawi colt, really nice colt, and a nice Invincible Spirit filly, a nice showcasing colt, chestnut with a white face, smashing horse, and a couple of Dark Angel fillies. Yeah, we've got some nice horses for him. Watch his space. <laughs>